Welcome back. everyone. Barton Jennifer Mills back with us today. They are reviewing the Banshees of Anna Sheeran. First of all, I know I didn't say that with the proper accent, but this does have Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, who's one of my favorite actors of all time. I think he's amazing. The only thing I know from this, guys, is the trailer. I know there's a rift. I know they live off an island off of Ireland. And I don't know what the rift is about. Is it is that the big spoiler if we tell what the rift is about, Bart? Nah, no. I, I mean, there's not a whole lot to spoil about this. This is, you know, this is Martin McDonough first off, and and so you you know you he, he's a playwright, and so this is a playwright's movie, and so it's really about. There's not a whole lot of in terms of the plot. I mean, there are surprises in the middle, and it, it definitely does take a turn. But uh, the story is basically you got two old friends. They live on this small island in the 1920s, and you know it's a uh, Inishfearn is isn't it's it's fictional. It's it is more basically. It's one of those islands off of uh, Galway, um, but it's a very small island. It's very secluded. These guys are have been lifelong friends. They really depend on each other in a way that people in small areas do. For friendship, and one day um, it's um, Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson's character, just in a moment of existential waste, says, "I'm not your friend anymore." And Colin Farrell, being uh, you know fairly simple man, just can't wrap his head around it. And so, what starts as a comedy about two two friends in a row, um, it, it being Irish, it gets darker and darker as the day goes on. Well, I wondered that, Jennifer, because I thought in the trailer you get the sense that Brendan Gleeson's character is like, you're just boring. You told me two hours about the excrement of your mule the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that was, By the way, I consider a good friend. I, yeah, I get it. I thought it would be a pretty good story myself. <laughs> but as as you mentioned, Bart, it gets darker and darker. Jennifer, is that what you're, is that what you're trying to figure out? Why there's, there's an underlying meaning of why this is all going south? Well, you know... Um, Brendan Gleeson's character just decides that life is too short and he needs to cut everything else in his life out so he can write uh, music that will stay alive forever and he'll leave his mark on society, right? So in order to do that, he needs to just focus on that and cut everything else out of his life. Well, and to show how serious he is, he informs, um, you know, Colin uh, Farrell's character that for every time he approaches him and tries to talk to him, he's going to cut off one of his fingers. <laughs> We've all been there, right? Yeah. 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 And yeah. so things start going real, real dark after that threat. Yeah, that's something. I, I, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around like waiting for the, I, I would imagine once you get into it and you hear these things that are going on the side and the finger cutting that you are engrossed in this part and that you just want to know how this is all going to end. It's just great storytelling. It's wonderful acting. I mean, this is, again, it's not, this isn't a Fast and Furious movie. It's, right. you know, but it really is. It's beautifully shot. It's absolutely elegantly acted. I mean, everybody to the, to the T is 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 perfectly cast and of course the scenery doesn't hurt uh and it's just good storytelling and so you follow it along you're drawn in by the characters the dialogue of course mcdonough is an amazing writer and so the dialogue is funny and piercing and uh, there are moments when you literally are crying during this movie i didn't cry i cried late, late, You're crying. ladies cry you he's know. very manly uh, right yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know there's the irish and uh <laughs> but it, it's just you know it really is it's just a beautiful movie and it, it but it's funny and and everything you need in a movie like this I know it's it's Oscar contender for the year, and I got to say, for right now, it's one of my favorites in the race. Yeah, uh, Jennifer Bart mentioned the scenery. That's that's a bit of a character in and of, of itself. I heard it's very beautiful. Oh, it's just. I mean, you the minute you you walk out of the theater from seeing this movie, you're gonna want to go book a trip to Ireland like immediately. <laughs> yeah, is this one of those that you would watch again? I mean, that's kind of the telltale sign, right? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. and I think you know if you. If you've looked at any of McDonough's other, and McDonough worked with both these actors in in Bruges quite a few years ago, and then of course he had an Oscar nominee for uh, Three Billboards uh, a few years back. So any of his movies, I think, are are uh, highly rewatchable, uh, and this one particularly just. And again, as you said, Brendan Gleeson, I'll, I'll watch Brendan Gleeson oh, yeah. in a coffee commercial. I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'd be sobbing at the end of that commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're great. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was kind of nice to figure out what this movie's about. Like, everyone's got to go out and see it, I think. Yeah, definitely go check it. Okay, appreciate it. Good job, guys. We'll be back right after this.